Hey guys, Jackdaw here. Recently, I've been talking a lot about the next Dragon Age's development with regards to an initial release window of 2023. I've shared a little bit about this speculated release window. However, today I wanted to have a separate and direct discussion about this topic because I want to convince each of you and explain why I think a 2022 release window for the next Dragon Age is not a good idea. I've had a lot of surprised and upset reactions when I mentioned a 2023 plus potential release window, which is completely understandable. We've all been waiting since Trespassers events in 2015 for the next Dragon Age entry. It's already been an incredibly long wait already and we're all diligently giving Bioware our patience. But of course, we want the next Dragon Age as soon as possible. I know for a fact each of us were hesitantly excited when it was revealed in EA's 2019 earnings call that the initial estimation for Dragon Age 4's release window was set to be any time after April 20. 22. And given what I'm about to say, for all we know, the next Dragon Age could still be set to release within this 2022 release window. The team could absolutely still be on target. This 2023 plus release window is just speculation from myself with as many sources as I can muster. So please take it with a grain of salt. However, I fully and subjectively believe that the next Dragon Age is not ready for a 2022 release for many different reasons. Five to be precise. The first First reason being that this initial 2022 release window was a pre-pandemic estimation. For the moment, regardless of Bioware's struggles during the pandemic, as a whole, the entire games industry has had a substantial impact because of the pandemic. Many expected 2021 titles have been delayed because of the pandemic's difficulties. Such titles like the God of War sequel, Gotham Knights and Hogwarts Legacy, each were estimated to release quite contently in 2021. However, because of the pandemic's impact, on several development factors, each title has been delayed to 2022 or even further. With regards to Bioware, even the Anthem Next reboot was cancelled because of obstacles faced with the pandemic. Therefore, given that many titles, which were almost finished and set to release in 2021, have since been delayed, it's completely reasonable to expect an internal delay on the next Dragon Age, especially considering the bulk of the game's production stages began at the height of the pandemic. According to lead producer Sila Costa, every single developer on the Dragon Age team had to adapt to drastic new changes like working remotely and having the right infrastructure to continue with the game's production at a steady ease. This transition understandably took a while, but after a couple of months of adapting to these changes, the team were able to continue with development despite the challenges. Even so, the pandemic has most assuredly greatly affected the production time on the next Dragon Age. For example, EA had a quarterly earnings call in May 2021, focusing on the immediate future of 2022 with titles like Battlefield, Apex and EA Sports. There was no word on the next Dragon Age other than Bioware have a new title coming out in the future. If the next Dragon Age was still estimated to release in 2022, then why was it not mentioned in this earnings call? Even if Dragon Age was missing from this earnings call for whatever reason and it is still planned to release in 2022, I wouldn't have full confidence in that release window given the current time spent in the production stages and how much work there is left on the project. Which brings me to my second reason. Again, according to lead producer Sila Costa, the next Dragon Age started its main production stages in early 2020. Thanks to Jason Schreier's reports and many Bioware staff's comments, we know that the project was in pre-production stages since 2017, with a much more condensed team that grew over the years. The main bulk of staff entered the project in 2019, where the fully operational Dragon Age team continued with its pre-production stages as a full unit. The main production stages began in early 2020 and endured through the pandemic after many growing pains and remote work adaptations. The team had many hurdles to cross, like adjustments to remote work, motion capture, communication issues, etc. However, the team overcame those obstacles tremendously well, creating new standards for the entire development process. Many of the team's adaptations and support regarding work amendments to the pandemic are still in place today, like flexible working hours and deadlines. Having flexible deadlines in itself proves that the next Dragon Age has had some internal delays understandably. And not to get stuck into the nitty gritty, because in truth these are just my estimations, but a lot of pre-production time has been spent on the next Dragon Age. We can assume there was around two years of pre-production with a very small team, and then a year of pre-production with the majority of the team on the project. Again, the production stages started in early 2020, so that's around a year, a year and a half of production time. Currently, the project 
project has to finish its production stages, then it's on to its alpha, beta and launch stages. According to former creative director Mike Laidlaw, Dragon Age Inquisition spent four years in development. The team spent one year in early concepting stages and around three years in its main production stages. With that logic, the next Dragon Age should spend at least one and a half slash two more years with its following production stages, considering a lot of its development time has been early pre-production work, which ties into my third reason. Adding even more into the mix, the next Dragon Age was revamped in early 2021 with a new pivot to remove all multiplayer components and live service elements for a single player experience. Perhaps the production of the project was still early enough so the team could proceed with this removal process with ease. Or, slightly more worrying, the developers may be having to rebuild entire systems for a single player experience, as it sounds like multiplayer elements were built as this project's foundations, which honestly sounds like another internal reboot with its own tin of worms. Especially when you consider that the next Dragon Age has spent at least three years in its pre-production with this multiplayer and live service focus. Without a doubt, the team will have created integral live service systems and online elements that will have been designed to suit this multiplayer ambition. If that's the case, which I believe it is, then I can imagine the removal and revamp of those systems will take a lot more time, which means the game will need longer in its development. And speaking of time, I present my fourth reason. If the next Dragon Age were to release in 2022, it would have a very similar development routine as both Anthem and Andromeda. Remember, according to Jason Schreier, Anthem was in development for nearly seven years, but it didn't enter its production stages until the final 18 months because of huge narrative reboots, major design overhauls, and a leadership team said to be unable to provide a consistent vision and unwillingness to listen to feedback. Mass Effect Andromeda was in development for five years, but by most accounts, Bioware built the bulk of the game in less than 18 months because of the Frostbite engine's limitations, scrapped mechanics, internal politics between two teams, and ultimately a failed prototype. The next Dragon Age has been in pre-production for five years, however, only started its production stages in early 2020. This is because the original iteration of the next Dragon Age, which was helmed by Mike Laidlaw, was rebooted in 2017 to focus on live service elements. However, since then, the project has been reworked back to a single player experience. Either way, the project has currently only been in production for around 17 months. While Bioware are on the right path to avoiding the mistakes of both Anthem and Andromeda, the next Dragon Age has already faced many critical issues, like major staff departures and pandemic difficulties. Even so, many amendments to this project have been made. However, if there was a release date for 2022, that's still not enough time given the influx development. And even if it somehow was enough time, and the next Dragon Age is still on target to launch in 2022 despite the reworks and challenges, the Dragon Age team would no doubt have to crunch to meet that deadline. Which brings me to my final reason. No matter how good the next Dragon Age could be, you've got to ask yourself, is it really going to be worth the well-being and sanity of the developers who've crunched to make this game a reality? And the answer to that question is always no. If I'm completely honest, I'd rather Bioware not crunch in the slightest and release the next Dragon Age in two to three years because the well-being of the team is much more important than the game hands down. Recently, Bioware have announced that they're adamant on stopping crunch working conditions and putting in place healthier working practices, which is awesome to hear. I am literally Bioware's biggest supporter on YouTube, but the horror stories that came out regarding Anthem's development are horrific and should be a huge learning point for the entire leadership teams within the studio. Developers shouldn't want one of their projects to die in order to prove their point that crunch is bad. Casey Hudson and Mark Dara did help the Dragon Age team turn around the working conditions by setting a new precedent. However, they've both left the studio within the past seven months. I hope Casey's vision and Mark's handling of avoiding crunch has been set in stone for the developers and studio going forward. Otherwise, then the studio has failed to learn from their past mistakes and treatment of developers, which will be incredibly upsetting to see, honestly. Attempting to wrap this up, like I said before, I am not Bioware. I am just a British lad and my my estimations on the game's production stages may be slightly off because of course I do not know the internal time frame on the next Dragon Age. I'm just basing my speculation on the few sources that we do have. However, based on what we do know, I genuinely hope the next Dragon Age spends more time in its production stages and doesn't have a release window for 2022. And I mean that. If we get a trailer this year with a release window for 2022, I will be slightly worried and apprehensive depending on the contents of that hypothetical trailer because I do think that this game needs 
needs more time in the oven. Like Shigeru Miyamoto said, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. I completely understand why so many people are upset and saddened when they hear the next Dragon Age may take longer, because we've already been waiting so long already. However, please remember that it's only been two years since Bioware released Anthem. That's only two years since the majority of the Dragon Age team returned to work on the next Dragon Age, which is another indicator towards its current production. Now, maybe my constructive scepticism may be misplaced. Perhaps Anthem's tools and code base have helped the production continue at a faster pace. The developers haven't built the next Dragon Age from scratch, which has saved time and resources, but there are still so many factors to consider. The recent life service turnaround, no crunching conditions for the developers, the pandemic's difficulties, Bioware's attempt at learning from previous mistakes, etc. With that, I just ask that you give Bioware and the Dragon Age team your patience and support, knowing that the next game is already on loose hinges. However, the developers are doing all they can to create the best Dragon Age possible given the circumstances and tumultuous times that we live in. The team are trying to learn from previous mistakes and they have said many times over that they will share so much about the next game when they can. They're so excited to show things off, but for the moment, we're just going to have to wait and let the team do what they've got to do without putting any pressure or advocating crunch. It would be the worst thing in the world to think that next Dragon Age was created from crunch. And surely, a Bioware title with more time in its production stages is a good thing, right? Do let me know all your thoughts down below and please share some love for the Bioware developers who are working so hard to create the next Dragon Age. Give me some of your fond memories you have of the series or just offer your support to the Bioware team. But anyhow, you are already in the right place for all the latest updates on the next Dragon Age. Until our next one, I have been Jackdaw and I should go. Whoa, 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 whoa.